hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, in our discussion related to material science and engineering we have covered the various uh, concepts related to stress strain curve uh, and also we discussed about tensile strength ductility and uh, the factors affecting tensile strength so in today's video we are going to discuss about another parameter another characteristic feature an important one uh, while selection of a material for any application which is the toughness okay the toughness of a material so toughness and tensile strength they are very much interrelated and uh, I would not say similar but the determination the way of determination from the stress strain curve is very much the same and uh, they exhibit the same characteristic features uh, as compared to what information we are trying to get from the stress strain curve okay so they are very much interrelated you will see how so the definition of toughness of a material is that it is the capacity of the material to absorb energy up to fracture point okay the point where disintegration happens so the material breaks so it is obtained from the area of the stress strain curve okay so tensile strength ductility and toughness they are very much interrelated in the previous video we discussed about tensile strength and ductility so i would like you to please watch the two the two videos related to tensile strength and ductility and the factors affecting them first so that you understand it in a better way so toughness is actually the area of the stress strain curve now the unit of toughness is energy per unit volume because when you multiply stress and strain you will get this unit so toughness is actually obtained from the tensile strength which is uh, carried out using the tensile test machine which we have already discussed which uh, causes a, a tensile force to act on the material which tries to stretch it and we get a stress strain curve like this with the various points uh, the linear elastic point the the point of transition of the elastic and uh, plastic region the yield points the rupture point and the fracture point the ultimate strength so actually most of the materials it is not necessary that all the materials will uh, get to reach these points okay these uh, various points m n p q r s okay it is not necessary that all the materials will cross or will reach the point n p q r s it may happen that one of the materials will undergo fracture before reaching point n another material will undergo fracture or it will disintegrate before it reaches q some will undergo fracture before r some will be uh, undergo it before s so it may happen like that so this is an approximation okay a general stress strain curve indicating the various points okay so how to determine toughness from a stress strain curve okay let us first consider this stress strain curve so we have the stress axis the strain axis the curve starts from here the linear portion and almost at the end of the linear region the elastic uh, region fracture happens here so if we draw a straight line a vertical line parallel to the stress axis so where it touches the strain axis from there we shade this region which is the area under the stress strain curve so this area indicates the toughness of the material so as you can see from this area the shaded region it is a material with very low amount of toughness okay so this material we can say that it is a material having brittle nature now we have discussed about ductile brittle pro, uh, properties of materials and uh, how strain 
or elongation can give us information about the ductility the ductile behavior of material so as you can see here the strain value is very less it means less elongation less elongation means more brittle uh, nature of the material so if we co consider another stress strain curve this one here it uh, crosses the linear region the elastic region it uh, has a transition from linear to plastic and then it undergoes fracture at this point so if we draw a straight vertical line from this point downwards to the strain axis this is the value of strain that this material has undergone up to the point of fracture so considerable value of elongation as compared to this stress strain curve here low value of strain here high value of strain high value of strain means higher percentage of elongation so this is a ductile material and also the shaded region the area under the stress strain curve this blue region it has higher area as compared to this red area this red region so higher area means higher value of toughness so this is a material having high values of toughness energy per unit volume okay so this is a material having low toughness this is a material having high toughness high toughness means it has higher capacity to absorb energy from the tensile test because of the applied stress tensile stress up to the point of fracture okay higher capacity to absorb energy it has low capacity now about the ductile and brittle nature of materials now we have already discussed it but still for this red stress strain curve it hardly crosses the linear region and just at the transition point of linear and plastic regions it undergoes fracture so it hardly undergoes any elongation no elongation at all almost so this is the initial shape of the brittle material and just when it crosses the linear elastic region it undergoes fracture so no elongation almost no elongation at all okay low values of strain which is marked by the low value of strain so this is a brittle material okay now this is a ductile material because of higher values of strain from the point of fracture the straight line downward line so high value of strain means higher percentage of elongation it means this material undergoes some elongation okay stretching expansion and then it undergoes fracture here so if we compare these two this undergoes very less amount of elongation so it is brittle this undergoes high amount of elongation so it is ductile now as uh, uh, temperature affects tensile strength and ductility also temperature affects toughness so how temperature affects toughness is that lower uh, temperature values toughness is decreased and the material becomes more and more brittle in nature and at high temperature values toughness is increased and the material becomes more and more ductile so this is also the same uh, that we covered in the tensile strength and uh, ductility same thing here also it is exhibited in case of toughness so more the uh, area under the stress strain curve means more ductile the material is and more the toughness less area under the stress strain curve means lesser ductile properties and less toughness okay so here we discussed about the toughness of materials and how we can determine the toughness of a material from the stress strain curve okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much